are you today, Delali? I, I haven't am... seen you in a little bit. I know, I know, we miss you. Hi, my name is Delali Zarasa. I'm the CEO of Fearless. I graduated from UMBC in 2004, and I was an alumni award winner in 2011. Hi there, I'm Kelsey Kroc and I am a product manager and designer at Fearless. I graduated from UMBC in 2014 and was an alumni award winner in 2019. So I want you to tell me a little bit about some of the programs that you've been working on and why is it important for Fearless to be a part of this? Yeah, no, that's a, that's a great question, Kelsey. I want to build organizations, um, build platforms, and climb, climb as high as I can for the sole purpose of how do I lift up other people, right? And, and provide access and opportunities to them. And that could be through other businesses, that could be through organizations, through people that want to start a thing, connecting people. So Boost is a program of the Downtown Partnership where they're really looking to increase um, you know, black owned founders and entrepreneurs that uh, want to have storefronts in downtown, knowing that you know the strength of our community helps to not only help Fearless, helps our city, hopefully, uh, they're able to scale much bigger and much stronger than, than we ever could. Honestly, it's one of the reasons I was really drawn to come work with, with you and everyone at Fearless because we do so much in the Baltimore community. I'm curious to know how have you stayed connected to yeah. UMBC? The first piece is um, through lots of personal relationships. And so when Fearless was born, actually our first cube, not in office, but our first cubicle uh, was at UMBC in the BW Tech Incubator. Um, on campus, and so UMBC has has been there. Whether we needed advice, whether we needed um, partners, whether we needed someone to be able to uh, get direction from, we didn't know what to do. Fearless would not have been here without you know UMBC connections um, in general, and, and some of the most impactful relationships to me, um, even to this day. I think what's been interesting about my experience. Um coming out of UMBC and getting into tech is the liberal arts education really set me up to be a critical thinker going into the tech space. I just don't know if I would have gotten that from another type of education experience outside of UMBC. So much of the work I did there really set me up for success. Since I got the Rising Star Award in October 2019, I, I had a big shift personally with moving from Baltimore to California, and I've been so lucky to continue working with Fearless in, in a remote capacity. So it's been really exciting to dig into that. When we talk about the community aspect of Fearless, what I, I really love too is that we have people who are just as dedicated to our community um, as, as many of us at Fearless are. Have we done a good job as a company giving space for people to do community work or um, have we just done a good job of attracting people that already care about humanity in the world and just get out of their way, right? And, and I think it's a little bit about the probably more the latter, right? So Kelsey, even, even your use case and you know all, all you've done with you know supporting, like you said, you know whether it's be serving food or supporting you know mental health you know institutions and initiatives or code for Baltimore, like all, all the work, right? We didn't like create or enable that. Like that, that's you. You were you were gonna do those things. You were gonna do those things anyway. Thanks for sharing, Delon.